filter three tanks at once. Why not? <laughs> Alright guys, so let's check out this DIY canister I built. It's filtering three tanks at once, the 275s and the 55. I'm going to show you guys how I did it, all the measurements. So let's have a look. Alright guys, so this is it. It's being powered by a 920 gallon per hour pump. Uh, it's currently sitting on the front just because it's been running for about a week I would say. I'm testing everything out to make sure there's no flaws, there's no issues before I actually go ahead and show you guys how to build this. And thankfully, uh, there has been no issues, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now. I'm actually going to unplug it and take it off of the tank so I can actually show you the measurements and stuff a little easier, a little closer. But I just want to go ahead and show you guys the power of this here. It's moving quite a bit of water. That's pretty awesome. It is working really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this, put it on the floor, uh, give you guys a better look. So let's have a closer look. This is exactly how it sits on the tank. Uh, it'll be like this. You'll see there will be, this is where the 175 will sit right here. The other one will sit that'll hook right on the other 75 and this is the pre-filter this is my pump it'll sit exactly right on the back wall like this here and it'll be sucking water from the surface this is the reason why I put an elbow on here now this part here is actually not glued so I can if I want to change it where I want to put this straight up and down and suck water from the bottle I can I just chose to actually put an elbow here so I'm taking water from the surface. That way there is something do happen to go wrong. It'll only drain maybe 10 gallons of water and I'll have a mess, but at least all the tanks will be still fine. Now this pre-filter, like I said, I did not glue it. So let's go ahead and pop it off. This is simply, uh, this is an inch and a half right here. This is a two inch. This is actually a reducer. This here is a half inch. Uh, barbell or something like that it's called it's where you hook up your half inch hose coming from this pump and let me go ahead and pop this off I'll show you guys what I did inside here all right if you guys can see it is basically just a medium sponge that's all I have and this just takes all the gunk out of the water instead of actually putting it on the media which is just lava rock and this uh, part right here. It's about six inches long. Then I have a like I said a reducer right here It goes from two inch. This is a two inch pipe to inch and a half where this fits right inside that I can hook my hose up to Then on the other side again, it goes from two inch down to inch and a half Now this is the inch and a half pipe because I have it hooked up to the elbow Right here Like I said this elbow again is not glued so I can pop this right off So this is the actual canister and what I have done here, this is simply two elbows. One is placed almost on a 45, the other one's straight down. So that right there, this can actually hang right on the glass. You have no worries about this moving. So it's just two elbows right here. Then this is a four inch piece of an inch and a half PVC. I have this for the height wise. It works out perfectly. I measured all the height wise. This is a Y. Uh, three inch this is an inch and a half now this is very important to actually get this piece right here because what I did if you look right there it's actually a twist on cap with a seal and this uh, it's on pretty tight now but this just screws right off so that way there you can actually go ahead and remove all the media when you want if you want to clean it you can just simply do that Pull all the media out, clean it, put it all back in, and just twist this back on. Like I said, this is the most important part. In case you want to clean that media, you actually need this. And then this is a 3-inch pipe. The actual 3-inch pipe is 3 foot long. It holds about 12 pounds of lava rock. Uh, so it comes out to about 2 gallons of media. Uh, it's fair, fairly sized rock. If I crush it down a bit smaller, 
it'll hold a lot more, but I'm happy with the amount that's in it right now. Then here is a reducer again. It goes from three inch down to an inch and a half. Then this piece right here, uh, don't pay attention to this. I simply ran out of PVC, but other rather than going to the store, buy another section just for this uh, 10 inch piece. I actually went ahead and just glue two small pieces together it's just as strong so this is 10 inch right here then I have a 45 degree angle which then I have a seven and a half inch piece then again two elbows that is basically it it is really really simple uh, one elbow again is almost on a 45 degree angle and the other one is straight down it's like a thread it uh, inch and a half with a three quarter inch thread intake right there just simply twist this in and that is essentially the canister it is extremely simple very 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 simple i believe it's very effective only thing you got to keep in mind again like i said is this part here because you want to put that twist cap on the end in case any time you want to actually go ahead and clean all the media you really need that now the overall length of this from this elbow right here to that elbow right there is 52 inch the reason why I did 52 inch I'm gonna actually go ahead and show you guys because this is filtering three tanks at once and how that's possible is through water bridges now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the water bridges I use and how simple again that is to actually do so these are the water bridges again extremely simple it is so simple to do this build it is just two 90 degree uh, inch and a half pvcs glued together with a 12 inch straight pvc pipe going straight down into the tank and i have a bunch of holes drilled in the back i do have the bottom capped with a uh, craft mesh so water can actually run through the bottom uh, but you do want to try to cap it somehow because you don't want the fish getting in so I put the craft mesh on the bottom silicone on the bottom then drilled maybe two dozen holes on the back side uh, eighth of an inch or actually about three dozen holes on the back side you get quite a bit of water flow through that that's how the water is actually flowing through it is the simplest design very effective so I have a water bridge here connecting these two tanks as you can see the water level is identical obviously then I have another one over here another water bridge right there in the back so I'm gonna actually go ahead and install the canister on the back right now and it'll pump from the right 75 it'll pump all the way to the left 75 and the water is gonna get push back through the two water bridges to go back to the original tank so it's just going to be pumped from tank one to tank three it's going to flow to tank two then flow to tank one it is that simple so let me go ahead and throw it back on the tank and we'll see how it looks everything is hooked back on the back of the tanks now as you guys can see you don't really see much except in this tank now it is a little bit of an eyesore but it's in the fish room, so I don't really mind it all that much, to be completely honest. If it do start to bug me, what I'll do is actually just take this elbow off and run it straight down in the tank. And sit it in the corner behind that rock to pump, so you actually won't see anything except for another pi uh, pipe going straight in the water. Which is not that big of a deal. But, like I said, it's in the fish room, so honestly, having that pump... Uh, right there in the PVC like that it doesn't really affect me that much my goal was to go ahead and filter three tanks at once and that's what I'm currently doing so in my book that's a that's a success so I'm gonna go ahead and fill the tanks back up now and we'll take another look all right guys so everything is plugged in all loads are done it is completed as you can see there's quite a bit of flow I'm pretty happy with this I really hope you like this video I hope you like this build if you guys do have any questions please do not hesitate to ask as always please rate comment subscribe 
Thanks for watching, guys.